How about trying this new style bike? Britain produced the first bicycle, so it's right that British inventor Alex Moulton, who designed the mini-car suspension, should have revolutionized two-wheel travel as well. The designers spent five years at the drawing board to develop a bicycle with a similar suspension unit. Now, at long last, it's in production and many are being exported all over the world. This is a design of the future, where the small wheels give greater speed. Built-in comfort, that's what the makers of this new bicycle also provide. But it has other advantages besides giving the rider a jolt-free ride. A quick flick, and the saddle can be adjusted to any position for any member of the family. No, he hasn't broken it. This is the special stowaway version of the Motion Dream Bike. If you run out of petrol, just get out the bike. How's this for speed on two wheels? The racing version, which has three gears and can travel at more than 50 miles an hour. Pedal away furiously and get nowhere. That's exactly what Ian Hutton of Rhodesia is doing. But this is progress of a different kind. Mr. Lawanga of Uganda, a student of St. Mary's Medical School in London, is measuring the effects of physical exercise on oxygen consumption. Such has been the progress of medicine that students are having to study an even wider range of subjects. Does progress take your breath away? Well, this bag of air can hold a weight of information for the analyst. Mr. Oluwakan Janju of Nigeria and his student friends have to attend many discussions and lectures. But they always find time to help each other. Conducting a breathing experiment on one of his colleagues is Mr. Luanga. The spidery scroll produced on the graph isn't a message from the heart. But that's what this 70-year-old and still-working museum piece records. Now the job is performed by advanced electronic equipment. 